Man, this lobby is huge. We got pool table, foosball machine. We got a bar with sports on it. Who the hell needs a hotel room? Olympic sized pool? I could just stay down here all day. Man, hand me this remote, man. Turn up that surround sound. Oh, New York Giants. Go Giants! Another interception! Damn it! I am Bruce Jordan. I'm former ISG corporate and I manage over $1 billion in assets and $300 million in revenue. When Michael Jordan is the basketball, Bruce Jordan is the same to the hotel industry. My main goal is to give your hotel guests an amazing experience and to give your hotel the tools it needs to keep your revenue numbers in the black and beyond. And now you're watching another episode of Hotel Management Do's and Don'ts. This episode was brought to you by We Tip Hotels. We Tip Hotels allows you to give your employees a raise without you having to pay for it and without you having to pay payroll taxes for it. Give your employees the money that they deserve and let your guests tip them. Check out We Tip Hotels at wetiphotels.com. Today, we are doing a review of the True by Hilton Orlando Convention Center. This place is huge. It has 259 rooms. It's located not too far from SeaWorld, and the lobby is just ridiculously big. And guess what? Yeah, you guessed it. The rooms are a little small. But hell, who the hell needs, a, needs to stay in a hotel room all day when there's so much to do down here? Now, the front desk definitely makes my top 10 of most beautiful front desk I've ever seen. Like this is definitely the top 10, okay? Like, look at this thing. It's like a work of art. And you know what I love is that the lobby is nice and spacious. And you know, most hotels, their lobbies are so small. You have, you literally have like no place to sit, um, especially when the hotel is bigger. But this place, the lobby is huge. You could fit like two, like three or four football teams in here and including the coaching staff. What really makes this place stand out is all the family activities that it has. Like it has a, a pool table, it has an entertainment room, it has a, a, a foosball table, it has a nice little bar area where you can just relax and chill and, and grab a drink. It even has like little private sections that get away, you know, from your wife or husband. And you know, at the bar, grabbing a drink always makes parents a better babysitter. Now. The rooms are a little bit smaller than what you're used to. But if you're just here to, you know, enjoy the, the sights and have fun at SeaWorld and, you know, do a little bit of entertainment or hang out in the lobby, the, the room really isn't, the size is really not gonna matter that much to you. Now, what's really funny is that the TV was about the size of our bed. So either the beds are really, really small or that TV is really, really huge. To the hotel's defense, most beds are a little small for me. <laughs> now, what I didn't like was that there is no rollers on the housekeeping carts. My procedures for, for cleaning a floor is first, I sweep the floor to get all the stuff that I can see. Second, I use the roller to get rid of the things that I can't see, like the, the lint, the dirt, the hair, the dust. And third, I mop the floor to give it that nice, clean shine especially when it comes to hard surfaces and you know the roller just gets those hard to reach places that usually a, a broom or a mop just can't get to now what was even more weird for me is that they were using a vacuum to vacuum a hard surface uh, that was just a little weird it's not something that i would use on a hard surface one thing that i would use is this it's the bristle cross wave this thing sweeps mops and vacuums all at the same time and it will cut your floor care work in half this thing is a life slaver when it comes to tile floors they're perfect for hard services and they are available at best buy hospitality just ask to speak to larry if you want free shipping and tell him bruce sent you this 259 room property went from 60 employees to 18 employees just a couple of months after they opened up in the middle of COVID. Yeah, yeah, it really sucks. They even went down to like 10, 15% like during COVID, you know, but when you when you when your staff is that short, you tend to miss like little key details 
when it comes to like punching rooms and releasing them into your inventory, like this one piece of sheetrock that just wasn't sanded down all the way and it's kind of sticking out. These are the things that you miss when you cut your staff too low. Now let's get into these operations. Now check out these bathrooms. They have no bar soap. Everything is liquid, which means less soap scum for a faster and easier thing for housekeeping. One thing I loved about the bathroom is that it had the door stoppers at the top of the door instead of the bottom. This way, they don't have to worry about housekeepers getting their mop stuck or getting caught in the door stopper. That used to drive me crazy at home and wasted so much time trying to get it unstuck when I was cleaning a room at the hotel. I love the keyless entry where you're able to open a door with your cell phone. You don't have to worry about guests losing their keys anymore or keys being demagnetized, which will really free up the front desk so they can focus on what's important, the guests. Now let's get into the revenue. This hotel has the top review score of 9.1 on booking.com within its market segment. But I feel that they're listing their rooms on hotels tonight a little too early. If you look at their listing at 5 p.m., you'll see that their rate is good with their own Google Hotels ads marketing at a rate of $180 a night. But take a look and you'll see that their Hotel Tonight listing is at $170 a night. For those that don't know, Hotel Tonight fees can be, go up to like 2.5% or higher. They are high as hell. So they are paying a higher commission for a lower rate that they can advertise themselves with their own Hilton ads at a lower commission. Now, that don't make no damn sense, man. Now this is how much sense that makes. Is my hair straight yet? Oh, no, it's almost there. Oh yeah, it's straight now. It's straight now. Ooh, these things hot. Is my hair straight now? Salon Select. To me, that's just crazy. Why the hell would you pay that high of a commission when you could just market the same rate yourself with your own ads? All you have to do is change the rate from 180 to 170 and tell Hotels Tonight to kick rocks. Even if you use Hotels Tonight, you don't have to use it at 5 p.m. They call it Hotels Tonight for a reason. Because you're supposed to use it at night. To me, they're just cutting off their own foot using this strategy. The only thing that saved their revenue score was this property has a strong director of sales who was able to put up 200 rooms when COVID was really bad for hotels. That is something special. And anyone who was trying to sell rooms during COVID knows exactly what I'm talking about. Now, breakfast was, a, was pretty cool. They had muffins, bagels, harbo eggs, yogurt, and juice in a box ready to go. They even had like fresh fruit, oranges and apples. Me and myself personally, I rotate my fruits. Like I use the lower cost stuff when the occupancy is higher and I use the higher price stuff when my occupancy is lower. This way I don't get killed on my food costs. Now it's time for the hotel. Now it's time for the hotel. It's time for the hotel bash. This hotel was so COVID safe that they even had pressure washer inside your room's bathroom. Just look at the pressure coming out of that faucet. Oh, wow. My hands were COVID free for a week. <laughs> it looks like a pressure washer to me. I think we're going to create a GoFundMe campaign for the owner to help pay for his water bill. I'm even going to do my part and cut my hair so I can sell it to put towards the water bill. Yeah, that's at least one quarter of a penny right there. Now, whether you're at home or in a hotel, the water at your bathroom sink should run clear or semi-clear. Having it, the pressure too high is just going to throw your money down the drain, literally. Hold up, we got one more. How long does it take for paint to dry? According to the painter's tape that we found with the blinds in the hotel room, at least six months. <laughs> now I know they say people in the South do nothing but watch paint dry, but this is ridiculous. 
Now let's get down to these scores. But first, I would like to thank this management team for doing such an amazing job with so little staff. I've been there too many times myself. It's not fun or easy, but at the end of the day, the guests paid their money. You know, they paid for a product and it's our jobs to deliver. And you've been able to do that even with such little staff. I'm very proud of you. Now, as far as the operation score is concerned, I really wasn't a big fan of using the vacuums to vacuum hard surface floors. Like that didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. For me, it would have been easier to play golf with a pool stick. So for operations, I'm going to give them an 8.0. For revenue, the revenue strategy that they were using with hotels tonight, it really didn't make any sense to me. So for revenue, I'm going to give them a 7.5. Now for breakfast, I actually like the layout and the options that they had available. Probably would have rotated the fruits a little bit more, but other than that, it was pretty good. So for breakfast, I'm gonna give them an 8.5. This will give this property a total score of 8.0. Now here is how to vote for this property. Based on what you've seen, you have to give them a score in each category of one to 10, one being the worst and 10 being the best. In order for your vote to count, you have to like this video, subscribe to the channel and share the video and put your score in the comment section of this video. Now, as you know, my scores are just advisory. If you want this hotel to win, you have to vote for this hotel. Now that's our episode for today. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Hotel Management Do's and Don'ts. We're gonna be announcing our video sharing um, winner in a couple more weeks. So keep sharing this video to qualify and you know what we're here to do. We're here to make your revenues rise up once again.